Hi Gemini, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Gemini, this is going to be from the 30th of September to the 6th of October, which is Monday to Sunday. And the major arcana, the major influence around you, uh, which is going to be surrounding you this upcoming week, Gemini, is the hermit. Maybe you need to make some wise decisions regarding something. Okay, so let's see what that is, Spirit. Uh, let's take a few cards for their money, success and career first, then their love life, then a general overview and then also we'd like some uh, advice for them to have a successful week ahead. So starting with the Gemini's money, success, career and abundance. Why is the Hermit card here for that spirit? And a warm welcome back uh, Gemini to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right spirit. Uh, what can they expect? What should they be prepared for? Tower. Okay, starting with the Tower and the Ten of Swords. Oh my God, and the Sun card. Something is changing drastically. Wow, with the Sun card coming in. Okay, Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Bottom of my deck, Three of Swords. Okay, so Gemini, just a little warning here. There is some major change coming into your life which has the potential to change your life. Uh, what spirit is saying it may look it may look really really good but be wise this could be uh, not as good as it looks somebody could be plotting or wanting to cheat you or you know do something underhand uh, so there will be a lot of communication be very very mindful making this decision be very wise maybe that's why you have to go back and be in your hermit zone and you know Keep a tab of everything, maybe even take screenshots of all these conversations or emails, whatever's happening, uh, because you want to, you have to avoid a heartbreak here. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, this is serious. Please tell me what's happening. Why is the tower here for Gemini's money, success and career? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So it's like I said, something that, you know, when it comes in, it could initially make you feel, oh my God, this is a wish come true. I'm so happy, you know, this news has come in or this offer has come in. But it could be more trouble than anything else. It may bog you down. It could be too much responsibility. It could be, you know, um, overwhelm you. So just be a little mindful of that, that... Uh, it doesn't end up hurting you, right? So somebody maybe has their eye on you because you seem to be a good candidate, but it can, I mean, or maybe the person who's coming in is pretending to be somebody who has everything and, you know, order and they're promising you the earth or whatever. But this has, I'm telling you again, Gemini, this is a very important reading. Be very mindful. It has the potential of making you feel regretful and feeling bad and feeling why did I believe this person yes it can look really good on the outside uh, but spirit says go into your hermit mode is it too good to be true it's like too shiny it's too bright just think about it go into your hermit mode why spirit why is the seven of swords here seven of swords for two of pentacles one more this could be an unstable offer. Be careful. It could end as quickly as it begins. Death card. Right? So, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. One more. Yes. I'm telling you. This is an offer that will excite you initially. And it may make you feel, yes, it's time to celebrate. You know, I've got this offer or this, that and the other. But it can lead to a lot of conflict, five of wands. It can lead to more trouble than, you know, being. Why the uh, um, three of swords spirit? Why the th uh, three of swords? Queen of Swords. Spirit says, you have it in your hands. You have it in your hands to be very mindful. Queen of Swords is a very in intellectual person who uses their head over heart, doesn't trust too many people, uh, you know, reads the fine, uh, fine, whatever, what, what do they say? Uh, fine print, <laughs> read the fine print, don't sign any documents till you know all the details. So, uh, Gemini, just be very careful. Uh, this could, this offer, which looks really good, may not be really good if you know what i mean 
all right so spirit then what about their love life what can they expect for their love life now overall just a overall general how will their love life look like spirit anything they should know about their love life from this week ahead hermit again how many times are you getting the hermit got the hermit here i got the hermit here and i've got the hermit here okay ace of swords queen of swords i think it's almost the same thing it's almost the same thing in your love life as well there is communication coming towards you but uh, i have a feeling uh, you need to take some time out and uh, think about this uh, stand in your power stand in your strength well, i don't know what this offer is let's see if it's a good or bad one let's see spirit uh, tell me spirit what's the hermit hermit yeah you've been you've been maybe by yourself for a long time maybe things have been stagnant for a long time maybe you've been wishing and praying for you know some action to happen in your love life there is something coming towards you ace of swords and it could get you out yes it could get you out of your boredom and loneliness and all that but um i don't know uh you you're not really trusting this much why not for sorts because you want to give yourself some time maybe you have other things that you need to do and you need some time out or you just you just not interested in i don't know what this is you don't trust it justice in reverse and the five of swords maybe you're going through some issues here with your work life and you're already stressed out uh, but whoever this person is actually is can be a catalyst to helping you this is a perfect match coming towards you or this could be your existing partner talk to this person queen of swords to the king of swords right so this could be an ally to you to get you out of your stress and anxiety it can actually empower you this your love life could be empowered by sharing your problems maybe about your work life or whatever discuss this with this person this is a stable offer coming towards you don't overthink this or don't try and say i don't want to talk about it you know this is my problem and don't interfere in my business don't shut this person off this person can actually be an ally to help you get out of your stress and anxiety okay and overall spirit how how will gemini's love life go i mean week go overall what do you see for uh, gemini's week overall energy spirit overall energy five of pentacles five of swords and the world card and the three of wands uh yes gemini be very mindful be very mindful of this new new offer that is coming towards you it has it has the potential to uh be not very fair so i would do the wait and watch game here wait and watch be very mindful of trusting especially this work offer that's coming your way in your love life you may bring the stress home but your partner or whoever this love interest of yours is can actually help you to analyze the situation and get you out of it so uh, any advice for it for gemini for the week ahead any advice for the week ahead spirit any advice so that they end up making the wise decisions two of wands take your time this is a person standing at crossroads look at this person got two wands should i go left should i go right i'm not going to do anything i'm going to just going to sit by my window and think about it so that's what spirit is saying yes there is there is an offer coming towards you but i'm i'm telling you gemini this is the devil right so this may not be the correct thing for you to do and it could bring you losses if you go ahead with it so yes it sounds really nice and fun and good and whatever and but no i would i would not recommend it yep there will be new offers coming towards you don't worry about it there are better offers ahead of you spirit says they will come 
you be in your magician energy and keep focusing on your growth and we will send you new offers this one may come in to confuse you or set you back so be very mindful all right so what should they affirm to themselves spirit so they stay safe and protected what should gemini be affirming to themselves affirmation patience told you all things happen in the perfect time <laughs> so gemini your uh, affirmation is patience all things happen in perfect time trust the higher forces of life to know what is best for you and remember then that, that when you are asked to wait you are being prepared for something even better than expected okay so change your attitude to one of acceptance relax and take stock ask your angel to enfold you during this waiting period so that you can listen to the promptings of the divine do not rush off on some wild goose chase of your lower will when the time is right and you are truly ready and refreshed the next door will open patience is always rewarded i rest my case here gemini isn't that exactly what i've been struggling to tell you for so long now <laughs> don't make any rash decisions or don't get over excited be patient there are better offers coming for you there could be something here which might just be a wild goose chase right so i think spirit very sweetly has explained it in a, just a few lines all right so that's what i have for you gems till next time then love and light take care namaste